A regular stumbling block when working with complex LED screen layouts is the complexity and functionality of the LED processor itself which can often restrict the more creative designs. What we tend to do in AI is send purely the information that we require for each panel so that the job of the LED processor is simply to divide the signal and not to creatively cut out and extract signal parts. Let's have a look at how we do this. So on my left here I've got this layout that I've designed and so what we're saying is that of this 16.9 screen I want to show parts on each of these panels and I only want to show that part of this overall 16.9 image on this panel, this part on this one and so on. But also I know that the layout that I need for the processor is not like this. I've got a much more simplified grid layout. So as well as my template for what I want to sample, I've also got a template for the output. So I can load the output template and then align my sampled pieces to that template to make sure they're in the right place for the processor. So to get the template into the interface, it's this button with the uh, square icon with a circle in the middle. We give that a press and then we navigate to our output template. And with the output template it's worth remembering that this will not be seen on the system output. It's only shown within the interface. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out block A and then I'm going to make sure that it's sat above block A on the output. Cut out block B, place it on block B and so on. So first of all, I'm going to use this region tool. I'm going to loosely draw my region around there and then loosely draw my region on the output and then get it adjusted more finely. So if we remember, we need to get the top left corner in first. So I'm going to keep an eye on these guides on the right as I'm doing this. And I'm going to adjust the horizontal and vertical position. Then I'm going to adjust my size so that I trim that nicely, there we go, so we can see that that is nicely in the corner of each of the corner points there. Now all that's set is we need to put it on our output and then we need to get the correct size which I happen to know is 240. So there we go, so I've got my first one aligned over the A so then I'm going to use Control c and Control v to paste the next region. Now it's placed it in the correct place on the output, but actually the piece that we're sampling needs to be over a little bit. So I'm going to re-choose the selection tool. I'm going to click on that region, and then I'm just going to roll the mouse wheel like so, whilst keeping an eye both on my output and also my previews on the right. So we can see that B section is coming in there slowly. There we go. We're going to start to see it on the little previews that there on the right. There we go. So a little bit more. There we go. So again, we've got that nice trim there on the corners of the region. So again, I'm going to copy and paste for my third section on that row. Now what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to use the arrow shortcuts. So the arrows on their own move the right section one unit at a time shift and the arrows move the right ten at a time alt and the arrows move the left ten at a time alt shift and the arrows move the left ten at a time okay so let's get that one in there again just looking at my guide so that one's really nice already so, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to do a slightly sneaky trick. Because I've got three rows, I'm going to copy the whole of my first row, Control c I'm going to paste vertically using Control shift v And actually, I'm going to do that twice so that I can hit that bottom line there. And then I'm going to make the adjustments to the second line. So, let's get rid of that third block because we don't need that. So, this first one here... I'm going to move this over onto D, so it's control, shift and right arrows. 
watching those previews on the right maybe a little bit more like so and then that second unit is going to go onto the E block like so there you go so we've got it really nice and easily set up there now I've done my alignment as well I can actually get rid of this template that I've got in the background just by using the dustbin icon and so now when I play my video over those pieces we should see our beautifully cut out sections like so and if I select all of those panels we can even see which panel is which